Hello, everyone's new characters again, except Max. Max is back to Lucian. How you doing, Max? God damn it. I meant That's one. That's one. <laughs> I'm Max. I'm Lucian. I'm doing good. Uh, you, I, thank you for getting your sheet updated. Um, you excited to be playing I did, it? Play I did not update it. Oh, fuck. I did not. That's one. i you know, that's why we have a startup. That's why we check. Okay. That's uh, that's what I messaged you. <laughs> oh, I thought you said never mind in there yourself. I just ent enter entered a single word. All right, that's fine. Um, I soon thought you were competent. It happens. That's okay. Um, the rest of you, however, will be playing Jade Spines. Um, let's start with the uh, one who's played the most Jade Spines across this campaign, Ellen. Hello, I'm Ellen, and this week I will be playing Same. Oscar, elderly former minor dwarf um, who has who is now a fighter and bears the notable distinction of having survived more cave-ins and mining accidents than any other Jade Spine in mining history. Alright, alright, nice, nice. Sorry, uh, living history, not mining history. What is mining history, really? Well, I mean, presumably somebody else could have survived more. more. That is true. Is her mic doing that for everyone? Yep. Okay. Well, let me quickly change the uh, voice channel where I and see if that helps at a channel. Duh. Swap this to, I don't know, US <coughs> East? Hello? Hell yeah, now my ping is way better. Hello? Alan? Is this better? It is better. So far. Thanks, US Keep East. talking. Okay. Nope. What, what was happening? Uh, we can only hear, like, every other word. Um, we got most of the gist, though. I was able to parse it. Something about cave And living history. Yes, yeah, survived the most, uh, mining accidents in cave and living history. I feel like... Ellen's minor would be really good friends with, uh, I already forgot her name. The one girl. Uh, the one girl. Can you be slightly more specific? The one that literally, like, two sessions ago, we had to spend, like, five minutes finding her name. Oh, yep, already gone. But he dies. Yeah. Well, look. What? Um, I'm just offering names. Baldwin is not. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, um. Now for the other Jane's Finds file, who did you come up with today? Uh, yo, what up? Uh, I'm not Leanne Morins, and I'm not a commander today. But I am a Kizmer Jade Spine. A fighter. He has a big sword. He's a little angry. That's about all there is to say. Okay. That's all I got to say about that. What set, what set them aside from the other Jade Spines? Uh, well... He is well. He holds the record for having flung the f farthest rock in Jade Spine history. All right, all right. Wow, well, not living it? history, Jade Spine history. I mean, it's not much longer, right? All things considered. <laughs> also, if you include living history, it's kind of cheating because then you have the mages who argue their magically enchanted rock counts, and it's a whole load of bullshit. That's who. Uh huh. Yeah. Is that with the purity ring, bitch boy? You won't. <gasps> that's that's, that's three. Uh -oh. You're uh -oh. taking damage. Uh -oh. Sam, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Who is the Jade Spine you're playing today? I am playing the Vicar, 
Lumiere Jade Spine. Okay, what sets on the side uh, uh, out from the other uh, Jade Spine? Um, uh, I, I didn't think about that. That's all right. Do you have a generator? No. <laughs> yeah, let me just check my Jade Spine uh, Clan Generator dot com. I think. I think his is his intense devotion to uh to war right because his is is sort of like a a a a wing of the family that is used to fighting over uh mountain territory right for jade mines long long ago so those traditions have sort of been kept on even if they're more civilized and so he's sort of a you know very sort of fringe uh you like yeah Right, Lumiere. Uh huh. A any day now, big war over the mountains again. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, last but not least, our internet connectivity issued. Uh, Rubman. Today has not been my day. Oh no. Um. I had something dropped on my head at work, wow. and it really hurts. And then I got home, and the internet wasn't working, and I was um, very close to a mental breakdown. But I will not be playing Kalia today, even though I feel like I have taken as many hits as Kalia has. Um, I am going to be playing Ruby Jade Spine, the Ranger, and uh, she is the Jade Spine Clan's best basket weaver. That, that probably doesn't Ooh. get her very far as this whole thing. No, system, but, but she's she is very, very proud of it, even though like nobody else cares because basket weaving has no help for like mining, but she's very proud of it. Alright. Um so to set the scenario, all of you are jade spines who have been trapped in the stone thief after working it the terrible incident where the mine you were working in uh, got gobbled up by the stone thief. Um, this happened a while ago, uh, before the war e started even. And you have all ended up, what, for some reason or another, at a new orc camp after recently having been transferred. Um, you are, you either were already a bit more adventure proudness than others. Maybe you were, you know, the heavy lifters, maybe you were guards, or while in the Stone Thief, the uh, dark reality that you lived in brought out that and shined that inner gem of, you know, determination uh, and, and, you know, go getter attitude that adventurers have. Um, you're not the only Jade Spines here. Each of you are responsible for two additional Jade Spines who will not be mentioned, named, or on screen. These are your recoveries. If you spend them, they die. Please mark down two recoveries each. Okay. Wait, like, we only Why, have two recoveries? You, you, you tell me this gimmick after I build my character. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. If that is an issue, uh, uh, please... Ex so how does that work with fighter, huh? I get an extra recovery. How does that work, huh? You get an extra person. Yeah, you get an extra person. Nice. Nice. Three recoveries. <laughs> I'm a flexible GM. <laughs> Whatever. I have Fucking, a feeling this right. could be a gruesome one. Whatever. Um, outside of that, please, each of you, if you have set up icon relationships, pick exactly one to pick as a six and one to pick as a five. If you have not, the mark a six and a five with the jade spines as your icon. And max roll is normal. Okay. I have this item that lets me re-roll. Uh, gosh. Any relationship dice that's rolled a four or less, so long as you are traveling. Shoes of the Pilgrim. Okay. Am I traveling? Currently, no, you're not traveling. Uh, 
Uh, let's talk about art real quick, because I'm guessing if I, yeah, I'm guessing none of you have art. Nope. No. That's all right. Each of you could take a moment to uh, find a suitable dwarf. I will get that set up. It's a Mayo. You ever think that maybe you should ask this stuff and give warnings about this in advance? I presumed getting an image was part of character creation, but I guess I could have specified. I can help anyone who needs help finding an image. <laughs> oh, no. But it might be copyright. I don't... I just hope I see, like, six Gimli's out there. Yeah, this'll do. Yeah, it just doesn't look grumpy enough. And my axe. Well, let me uh, quickly take out the uh, transparency on this. All right, I have three. I have two backgrounds that I, I, I could just come up with real quick. Do it. Uh, uh, w one is Warlore, where it's exactly what it sounds like—just a history of the fights that the Jade Spites have been in. Yeah. And and then this one, I need some GM. I uh, the the second one is called the Tide of Dwarves. Okay. And it, it's sort of been like this internal sort of mental journey from the day he was born just preparing because he's known in his bones that one day the jade spines are going to go to war and like he's been he's been just prepping in his mind for his day for that day the entire time so it's like whenever you practice a thousand punches mm -hmm. but in your mind is that a good one yeah they're a mining district right um, like most clans, like the Jade Spines focused on mining, yes, but like most clans, they had some level of warriors and crafters and food preparation, you know. Okay, okay, ooh. I hope somebody picked Happy from the seven. Wait, how many icon relationships do we get? One and one? Or two one and two? One five and one six. One five and one six, wow. I'll take a five with the Dwarf King. And a six with the Jade Spines. Oh, Ellen, that's a ter that's terrifying. I wanted a grumpy old man. Should I find a different one? No. I have I... other nope. horrifyingly detailed grumpy old nope, men. Nope, I'm good. Did you use grumpy from the sit Snow White. I did That's not. <laughs> Oscar is Ellen's. Are Oscar, um, there's Rumham. What happened here? Did that pocket save? Should have been saved. We're doing good. Yeah, I remember Ruby Jade Spine. Nope, I don't want to duplicate them.
Ooh, can whoever's picture I think is the best get like an extra, like a reroll or something? <laughs> yeah, you I want you want little... me to return to this? It's it's a little late to make that competition, but. Tell you what, whoever's looks is your favorite can be the one you focus on getting out alive. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. My hopes of this being a stealth mission I are, are very low now. <laughs> Why did Rumham's image not save? There we go. Hello. Mm -hmm. Did you oh. guys choose your names too? Oh, they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I mention this is a Halloween session? Yeah, I suppose it is. Wait, is Rumham's dwarf called Ruby Jade Spine? Yeah. You picked a stripper name. What, what do you think about that? Is there something wrong with having a name like that? No, uh, I'm here. It was supposed to be Jade Jade Spine, the unfortunate dwarf who married into the Jade Spine clan and was stuck with the last name. But Toon said... Oh, I love that. <laughs> Toon said no, so I had to what? change it. <laughs> well, I feel... Wow. Ellen, would you have allowed that... I was asked, and I wasn't happy with it, but I would have. Yeah, that's fair. Jade Chain Spine. Did you try Spine after that? Spine? Jade Spine? No, I did not try that. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, now we just gotta set the vicar and then we're ready to go. While I finish up with that, Max, Lucian, tell us how you found it, uh, via your connections in the um, dungeon town. Tell us how you ended up finding about the uh, about the jade spines and uh, tracking their way here. Uh, where's here? Uh, you are currently in the. Um, you have trekked your way upwards in the Stone Thief to the Gizzard, the place where Di Jess buildings to be used, and you are at an orc camp. Oh, okay. Um, because the last time the party saw me, I was like on deathbed. <laughs> yep, you not, are not in Dungeon great. Town. You were okay. not feeling great, and then you were doing some research and, and errands sure. in order to try and uh, get help for your condition, which you did manage to get. You're stabilized right now. Woo! All right. Um, so I was asking after the dame, um, and I would have said that, you know, a, a dwarf about yay, yay tall that... You know, you can't go a conversation without mentioning her house, Jade Spine. And somebody's like, wait, Jade Spine? And that's that's when I found out. They okay. pointed me this way. How's that? I like it. I like it. Um, now, certainly tracking upward and through the Stone Thief and sneaking into camp. You are currently in the camp unnoticed. Uh, was quite the ordeal. Um, what, what, what did you encounter along the way? What did I encounter? Is Grizz with me, by the way? Can you tell me? Yes. Good pup. Good. Um, Grizz is so no longer a combat animal, but he is still a companion. He's my emotional support animal these days. Um, I think... I don't know, pretty much everything I would have snuck past. <laughs> Unless it was a really low level something. Um, yeah, I think uh, without a party, the, the Stone Thief is a lot scarier. 
Yes. Like that... every encounter is just trying to get by, like the <laughs> Minotaur one. <laughs> like... Oh, that's true. You know, without a party, there's no one to tell you that it was wrong to leave that person behind to die, or that you know, there's less people to attract the you know, the monster that's sleeping. And... Yeah, I think I, just using tracker skills and just uh, trying to avoid anything big. It's also real lucky that most traps are set up for people getting in and not the other way around. Cool, cool, cool. It's like, oh, here's a puzzle locked door. Good thing I'm going out, not in. Well, guess yeah. I'm not going back. I'll wedge it open. Come on. Let's bring you all over to this scene. This is the orc camp. Aww. Oh. And if we scoot Lucian up a little, we can see uh, the other jade spines. There's two cells um, with some jade spines in them. There's plenty of other people who have been enslaved here. And as part of the transfer in the main square, um, two slave takers each have a group that they're transferring back to the other camp or off to another one. Uh, the commander and one of his bodyguards is overseeing the thing. You've managed to use this big turmoil of people coming in and out to sneak in. Uh, but you, you know, there is quite the open space. Um, it was hard to get here by yourself with your eyes, And now here's a bunch of people. Wait, so I came in through this door. Uh, you probably like came or came around a corner or something like uh, this. Yeah. Can I move Grizz to see what I would have yeah. already seen? Uh, actually, I can't move. Game's Sorry. paused. Game unpaused. All right. So this is what I would have seen. Can everyone see what I can see, or no? I don't think so. I can see through Grizz. Oh, nice. Holy, this is bad. That's Amazing. a lot. Okay. There's a lot. Uh, the okay. good news is uh, his name is Semexodus, and not uh good thing is M and X aren't swapped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris will, will come up. To, are these gates, like barred gates? Yeah, these are jail cells um, embedded in gates. Okay. All right. He's just, both Lucian and Grizz, following their sniffers, smell, uh, I don't know, coal? What do these guys smell like? What does Vicar smell like, Seb? That's a great question. The Vicar smells like smoked spices, like uh, burning cinnamon and clove. Um, it's sort of like seared into his skin from all of the rituals he does before fights even when he doesn't have time to do them he carries in his beard and like the fur of his armor okay <laughs> what about Kismer? ale all right that's what we're that's what we were following you know <laughs> to get here um so we can see through you can. Not only that, you nabbed a key off of one of the guards on the way here. Like you posed, it was a whole thing. You posed as like one of the people being transferred with Grizz, uh, acting as a small kid. It was, it was a great, great adventure that led to here. Can, can I wreck on that and say Grizz found it just lying around, just like in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, just the dog with the keys. Boy, that sure that sure does seem awful convenient. But yeah, the important bit is you have keys. <laughs> the easy, easy part was getting here. The hard part will be getting out. All right. Oh man. All right. Um. Are they awake? If they aren't, you can uh, wake them up. Vicar, are you awake? All right, if they're not awake, I'll just do a soft tap. Tap, tap, tap. Look, I've been watching you stand there looking at the door the whole time. What do you want? <laughs> I'll just raise a finger up like, God damn it. Are you guys Jade Spines? 
Mm, last eject. All right. I'm friends of the Dame. Uh, the Dame? Yeah, the, uh, the young opera singer. It's been years! Yeah, okay. Come, shh, shh. Unless you want to get us killed. <laughs> I'm g we're going to get you out of here. This is my second time in here. And we'll get you out. Dame already left. She's been through here twice, too. Uh, Why I should I trust you on your way out if this is your second time in? What? Because I've made it out already before. I, he has a point. He made it out and came back in. Oh. Yeah, let's make it a point not to get in here a third time, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just has a way of finding us, I guess. But, um... Are there are there more of you? How many more? Two oh, others. Well, judging from the perspective of that question, there could possibly be about eight of us or just four. God. Can you whisper? No. Two. Yeah. There's. Yeah. Right. There's. Uh. There's. Uh, two on. other jade spine. All right. What? Hold on. Uh, I will un I'm unlocking this, but there's a ton of people outside. Just hold here. I'm going to try to get the others and compile us in here and get a plan real quick, okay? Do I Can I trust you not to be super stubborn and just run for it? I promise you, you're not going to make it, and Dame's going to have my head. Uh, yeah, nod. Okay. I'll unlock. And then I'll stealthily come over here. Stealthily. <laughs> and I will just, I'll, I'll make eye contact with the hooker. I mean, uh, Ruby. And I will put my wow, finger on my... you don't even know her name yet. <laughs> Get the ring. The ring turns on its owner. <laughs> I'll be like, shh. And I'll gesture, like, forward, you know, with, like, my four fingers on the other hand, like, beckoning forward, with the other hand still on finger. And I will unlock. And then I will pinwheel and, you know, like a plane, just kind of, like, gesture, like, that way, that way, that way. Back this way. Young man think we're going. Go, 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 go. I don't know, but this door is still locked. No, 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 this way. Well, they must have had one of them slow opening locks. No, no, you guys go in there. Why okay. back in here? Why are we going guys, in? Shh, shh, shh. The warriors. I got a plan. Find the warriors. I got a plan. You guys don't have weapons, do you? Not currently. They don't keep us with them. I, I mean, did you think about that, GM? Or can we assume that there's a stash of weapons here, conveniently for all of them? Weapons, no. Pickaxes, um, you know, shovels, all the, those kinds of things. Yeah, no, there's plenty of tools. Yes, we have weapons. Okay, okay. All right. Unfortunately, I'm the only one here to save you guys and bring you back to Jun Dungeon Town and then hopefully out. You guys know Dungeon Town? I know head. the place. I almost okay. drank it over. All right. <laughs> Same. All right. <laughs> the only way we're all going to get out of here is if we play this smart. You guys have seen how many are out there. I? The sharp sound of whips cracking as they're starting to get some of the groups moving. Wait, wait, wait. Boy. Let me let me send Beetle first. Uh Beetle can look out. Who's Beetle? My cat. As the, as the cat slips in between the vicar and Lucian and like out into the open, Victor looks at uh the vicar looks at Lucian and says, "Don't worry, boy. It took about twice as many to get us in here." So, uh, Beetle is not a animal companion, but is a ranger's pet, uh, which takes its rules from the wizard's familiar, t um, palette. 
and I took the adventurer feat of gaining a third ability. So one of its abilities, um, but then I also took an adventurer feat in the wizard talent, so it has four abilities. <laughs> um, so once per day, my familiar can separate itself and do uh, reconnaissance. Okay. Um, so, hey, you guys can could see through your cells. Do you know the way out of here? No. Look at what's directly in front of Miss Cell, and you tell me. The That's other ones the had a better view. For. That's uh, what the cat is for. The only way in and out of this is the main gate. Um, this entire camp is set up against the back of a cave wall. Oh, I got through the main gate. Yeah. Can you ping where that was? Uh, right here. Okay. Wait, but I thought I came around like Don't this worry. corner. You, you did a lot of sneaking. There's some staircases <laughs> and buildings we won't be exploring. Oh, by all means, I should know the layout. I should just have full vision. You had to make four rights. That's all that you remember. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I should know. Okay. Well, all right, all right. Let me, let me just go. T I turned off token vision. Oh, God. There's so all right, much. All right, all right. So that's Do I get my once per day then back? No, no, you, it... you can still gain an advantage, right, by Wait. sending oh, out the okay. reconnaissance. Do I, did I see what these people were? It's like a bar? No, no, that's a jail cell. They, they are more slaves that are kept in. Oh. oh. <laughs> There's a baker oh, and a okay. bar key. Look, I only have so many NPC tokens, all right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um. All right, um. I mean, if you want to send somebody something out, you can, but we're pressed on time, and I have an idea, and I need you guys to move quickly and without questioning me and without talking. Mm -hmm. Okay? Buddy how well did your here. last plan went? Look at your hands. You made a marble. <laughs> How'd your last plan go? And I'll gesture towards the cell. <laughs> no, that wasn't a plan. <laughs> All right. So, you're going to listen to me. Otherwise, we're going to bicker and argue, and argue until we're all in the cell, okay? If you want to send out a thing to scope out something, I think we have a few minutes and you the can do that. The cat's already gone, lad. <laughs> right. How does Grizz react to this cat? Um, is, like, almost it's about not, to jump on it. It's not exactly a, a cat. It's kind of a spectral, not fully animal cat. Oh. Spectral, not fully animal cat. Can you elaborate? I mean, it, it looks like a cat, but it doesn't like it. It doesn't necessarily act like a cat. It doesn't necessarily follow the same rules of matter as a cat. It's kind of got a little bit of a wispy tail instead of like a full tail. This so, just sounds like a cat. Quick, no, quick question. It's kind of like a ghost cat. Quick sidebar: Is this a half wall? Um, that corner. Yeah, or does this go, like, all the way up? Are we inside a building? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's a half wall. Okay, perfect. Um, the cat, like, faces through the wall and then starts to, like, just, like, it owns the place, walking across the plaza. You hear some orcs cry out, It's that damn cat again! <laughs> uh, Sec Semexis tried eating it last week, but it just came right out of his stomach! Damn cats. Commander Lasher uh, just gives a stern look like, Back to work, man! We've got yeah, a big not... transfer to orchestrate. I'm looking to see how many orcs there are, where they're stationed, and like what uh, what their weapons are. Oh, right. Um, the scariest are certainly Commander Lasher and Semexis. They are much stronger than the rest. Um, all the people are being guarded by just some smaller orcs and one of the slave takers. And then the walls are being manned by some cave orcs, um, just to act as lookouts. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, when, when Beetle has seen enough, I'll, uh, I don't know, make a motion or a, a telekinetic connection to tell her to come back. Uh, she just like phases into the ground and then comes waltzing as if up a staircase to meet back into the ground where uh, Ruby is. Yeah. 
She drops a mouse. Oh, thank you. I was kind of <laughs> hungry. <laughs> what What do we get? Uh, so there's a couple uh guys standing around near all the people, but there's two big scary ones right at the barricade, and some dudes guarding the walls. All right, all right. What we're going to do, and I'm telling you what we're doing. We're, we're, this isn't a debate, okay? <clears throat> Here, I'm going to give uh, the vicar, who, by the way, I, I pick his best picture. <laughs> I give vicar um, the rope that is always the right length. Okay. All right, you're going to take point, vicar. Actually, Grizz is going to take point, but you're going to need that rope. We can't go through the front gates. We're going to go through um, those doors over there, directly in front of me. And then we're going to make our way to the wall. You're going to tie the rope off, and you guys are going to rappel down. Gotcha? Head nods. I want to see head nods, people. The vicar sort of straightens himself up and he says, uh, Boy, if you're looking for someone for sneaking, I'm not the type. Oh, I very much well know that. <sighs> I'm going to be making a distraction and holding off the big guys for as long as I can. Your goal is just to run, get as many of you guys out there. All right? If you want to cause a distraction, there are plenty of us cells to open. Yeah. Um, all right. Good. Good plan. I'll give the key to Kismer. All right. Save, you guys save are the his... fastest one out of all of us, though. You are. Okay. I think so. All right. Wait, Ruby. Are you? I have an eighteen in dexterity. I have an eighteen in dexterity. Oh, that's double mine. All right. All right. All right. Ruby. On as long as you're not sacrificing yourself, you can let out people. But, Wait, but won't that people get killed for being let out of the cells? Yeah, they're dead anyway, right? Well, I don't know. If you can get as many people as you can to follow you, great. Okay? okay. Not stop. Okay. Boy, yeah. what is that necklace around your neck? Oh, it's what one is of that symbol? Priestess ones. That's it's right, it's one of the priestess symbols, and I'll be damned if by the priestess we sentence any people to their death. You guys got a point. I don't know how oh. I feel about that either. Oh, that what did I, what did I say about this being, uh... <laughs> Hey, hey, huh? hey, stop it. Stop it. You know what? You know what's a touch of town? I got a fresh bottle of ale for anybody who makes it. All right? Do I have your attention? Good. Me? All right, I'm going to, I like, load an explosive tipped arrow. I'm going to fire <laughs> this over this wall as far as I can. I've got this long bow. And I'm going to make an explosion happen to try to distract as many of the stupid ones as we can. Okay, we know we're not going to get all of them. Then we're going to be able to... something that actually matters to them. An explosion I... alone won't do much. Um, Alright, I can jump on this hay bale and try to shoot it at this, but it's, I'm risking people seeing me. They have like a ballista. Look, well, the he... thing is you should hit something matters. Okay, point taken. I'm going to shoot this, regardless. Cause the distraction, as the explosion goes, you guys will book it for that. Vic Vicar, you got to be up front. <laughs> like this. And uh, Ruby, if you want to oh, open boy. up stuff as you can, you can. All right, I'm going to try to distract. Stay together and get out of here. I. The dame is now the leader of the house, and she will have my head if she finds out that I found all of you guys and then led you to slaughter. Oh, I mean, won't you be mad about the other people relating to slaughter? She'll be less mad. Oh. I'll, I'll do like a little priestess cross. All right, you ready? Oh, I thought, just because you bless him before they die. Of course, no. all of you have to say. Boss. Right. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. You guys go. can't whisper for shit. I'm, I'm all right, going, I'm, I'm going. gonna like wait, wait, wait for the boom. All right, can I stand on these hay bales and shoot over? Absolutely. A half ball. All right, I will shoot. 
Um, I mean, this isn't very far away, and I feel like they could see my arrow. Is the roof just, like, cave-in material? <laughs> no. No, as you knock your arrow and you're looking for a target, uh, the front gate starts creaking and opening. Um, and there beyond the gate is a single lone figure walking in, much like the cat, as if he owns the place. The commander turns around and is like, uh, the, Cordy, how, what, why are you here? And Cordy, the jackal mage. Oh. 32nd in line of, uh, of he who serves a great ghoul. Gestures with a hand. You have been deemed extraneous to the plan. And purple magic shoots out at the ground. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> from outside. What is that? From out of the ground comes <laughs> arms and legs and pieces of armor and broken swords. All those who have died on pre the previous battlefields here. Their flesh merged together into an abomination. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, no, we good. used to get this back at the old buy. <laughs> Uh, I'm just holding up my hand for them, like, just stop. <laughs> I don't think we need the arrow anymore, you stick-slinging bastard. Actually, we might still need the arrow. <laughs> what, I hate dwarves. One of the tendrils <laughs> lashes out at a nearby orc, and, like, five broken swords and spears lash out into it. Into the, no, target, target, target. Oh. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. I like this token. Why does its head look like a jingle bell? Yeah, it looks like a like a jingle bell jack-in-the-box. What? It's, like, it's weird looking, but I wouldn't say it's gross looking. Yeah, I, I, there have been grosser tokens. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it turns out using the latest uh, version of the system has once again bitten me in the butt, and uh, monsters don't roll. Uh... If you go to a different version, you'll have to do Lucian again, right? No, no. Okay. Well, I'm just going to uh, real quick return to setup. How, how, how does that bug get in? Huh? Uh... I feel like that one would be fast to catch. You know... This is just how it be, alright? I feel like that sometimes. I really do. Anyway, seeing this uh, great abomination, what were you guys' reactions? And in like thy evil. hand ye sh And in thy hand ye shall take up, Zvalin. Thy shield, that it might protect you from the burning. And in thy other hand... <laughs> uh, runting, the blade, that it might find the eye of the serpent, and blind it, such that you may go in and take its heart, and with it, return to the light of the world. All right, all right. And this is, this is just me, like, remember, like reading off scripture. Uh, or spouting off scripture. Looks like we're gonna be dealing with a squid-headed cl crab-clipping pile of crab. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, we're back. Um, I'm not back yet. Yeah, that's... Some snip-snapping, head-tapping. Ooze-crapping. Just like that, Ellen died. Ellen! No! Okie dokie, um, and, and real quick here, uh, we're gonna get back um, in a minute. You know, Oscar was just on the verge of death any minute anyways, so. <laughs> we see his soul just start leaving his body. <laughs> Oh, you can see his dreams. No, that's his. That's that's his soul. 
Uh, the crash of, like, the broken weaponry pummels into this orc, decapitating him, skewering him. Uh, just, mm -hmm. this man is a bloody pulp at the end. Uh, I can't see anything. That's unfortunate. Can you reload it back in? No. Well, it's still I... loading. The that... scene is still loading for me, but that's a, that's a good enough description to figure out that that dude... That was yeah, once a person where, is where now. Where that dude was. <laughs> is now just hot, messy steak tartar. Was it the leader? The, no, the it, was, it was one of the um, people um, guiding the uh, slaves. That's I'll get you all in an initiative while uh, we get everyone back in. Mm -hmm. You know, lad? I think we should open those cells. No, wait. On my mark. Like the long there, is, <laughs> there is no other mark than the dude that walked in and killed everyone we were going to kill. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then summoned an enemy from bottom of the bottom. Is this like 14 heads sti sticking out of a thing, or am <clears throat> I the only one seeing this? I'm a little curious as to how everyone is seeing. Um, what? I, I don't know what you mean. All I see is that horrible thing right there. It's kind of like a worm if the worm had like three eyes on and on one stake and like claws on two others. I mean, I have a token that's a bunch of heads glued together. I can get that one. But like they're behind a wall in a cage. No? What are you talking? How do the dwarves see everything? Oh. Um, are they, is it like what kind of question is that, your racist? Like, from where you are, uh, because you haven't seen the scene load in, you can definitely see where all this just happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely in sight. Yeah. I wouldn't do you dirty like that. Why is it just loading? Should I re try reloading? I loaded in. Wait, I loaded in. I wish, uh, I wish like the scene wasn't the scene it was. Okay. I can say that. But I can't see everything like I once could. Uh, let me... Oh. I wonder if that turned back off to... Yeah, look at that. It turned on token vision again. Let me save, and you should be able to see everything. Okay. There we go. Yep. Alright, so that guy died. That guy Under died. Um, and it is now the bodyguard's turn, and he is going to charge right in and take oh I, I actually look re-looking re at his sheet uh, he is going to throw a giant javelin at this creature Ooh. skewering it for 26 damage it, and it's that good. spear just kind of like wiggles and goes down into the ground at the base of the beast and joins its collection of like <laughs> broken weapons hmm it's now Lucian's sir. <laughs> hold. We're holding. And you guys will follow Grizz. When I give... Uh, my hold action is when I deem right, I will, like, signal, and Grizz will run up to this door with the entire party running behind and Ruby opening up doors as she goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> I think that was an accident. Oh, okay. <laughs> The commander cries out, Secure the slaves! We'll deal with this abomination and treachery! Well, of course he has. Of okay. course he did. And that's the signal, then. What? Uh, he didn't mean the big slaves out here, right? Like these guys out there? Oh, he absolutely meant the the ones that are currently out in the square. Yeah, he's not uh, talking about uh, us. Gotcha. But that does mean that the two guys that are potentially freed up to not handle the threat are busy handling something else, so it is a good opportunity for us to go. I would agree. I would agree that now is the is time to go, is what I'm saying. Uh, go. Okay. Go! Go! Chris <laughs> will run forward. Lucian is just, is going to hold back and stand and wait, and his hold action is going to be to uh, just shoot at anyone who tries to come close. Vicar, you're being awful bold for someone who's not his turn. Wait, where's the battle thing? Well, I'll be honest, we're not in the initiative. What? Yeah. Yeah. I we're not in the initiative. The and are, the are they not Lucian's initiative? No, I, I don't. 
I don't see any active encounters. We have we have no active encounter, so Why? I was assuming it was yeah, just a free thing. I. Why not? I, I have an active encounter for all of you. If, um, if the configuration for us didn't save for the token vision, then the active encounter probably did not carry yeah, either. Well, let me give a quick refresh on the GM side. Uh, nope, I have a combat. You can tell Ooh. us the... the the route. <coughs> Go I can. For it. I just uh, well, it is Semexis, then Lucian, then the Slave Taker, then Kizmir, then Spunky or Rager, then Oscar, then All different. Never mind. That's probably too much. I thought they were all going to be like the same. Van. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I put. Oh, right. I put one of the NPCs on. Oh my gosh, they all have names. Why? Back then, I gave them all names. <laughs> I prepared uh -oh. some of this map a long time ago. Um, I mean, w with our plan, then, that's like SOL, because I named a front man who has the rope, and if he doesn't go first, it's like the plan is kind of crap. <laughs> you know, I we had sometimes you like, just have to have faith. Sometimes you had... just have to wade into the waters blind, brother. I guess I'd like to argue that we had time to like wait out like we didn't we haven't joined combat yet and they're in a line ready to go like are we really in combat and have to roll initiative when we're sitting in the shadows and then waiting for a go button well, <laughs> excuse me <laughs> if we're not noticed yet, how come we're in the tracker of combat uh, because you could be noticed, because initiative is ultimately an imperfect abstraction. Um, I I also agree. I get that. You could, like, if you want him to be in that order, the way, the mechanical way to do it is to hold your turn, and is to delay your turn intentionally until he's first. Yeah. I buy it. I also don't know why you can't see the combat tracker, neither can the stream. Let me see if refreshing the stream fixes that. Well, certainly not for us. It wouldn't fix it, I don't think. Well, how about this? What if I end this combat completely? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Add a brand new one. With I'm picking guys. up what you're putting down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Pick it up, pick it up. Uh, do you guys there it is. Okay, okay. There it is. Nice, nice. Okay, now I'm just going to re add. <laughs> wow, I just got a message. Oh my about gosh not being able oh there we go okay never mind it took you know a what second. i've taken i've taken your thought into consideration here's what i'm gonna do i'll move you guys to the top of initiative right after uh um the jackal yeah pretty much okay the jackal and the the creature let me uh get all that uh okay okay let's not forget good old van maxis the broad right he just threw a javelin that's the last thing that happened yeah and which he was first He's again. What wonderful. Uh, Vicar's going first, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, he's got rope. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I wear nothing but big fur and plate armor, not even underwear. I am I am the priestesses and the Jade Spines war dog. Well, it is, uh, it is your turn, Mr. Um, Light Clothes. Uh, I'm gonna bowl through the door uh, with with uh, Grizz and Toe. I'm going to whip my head around uh, the uh, uh, the passageway. Was it to the left or the right? Left or the right? Come on, come no, no. on. Grizz knows the way. Yeah, uh, it's this way. No, uh, that's the way to the he's kitchen. He's like right under the table, and he's like barking at the door. <laughs> we shall wade into the water and let faith be our guide. How far can he go? With Definitely two, not that uh, far. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right here then. I mean, would that be a two move action and an action? Yeah. That's a yeah. That's a move that's and an, both. And yeah. a move as an action. So you can get okay. like here in one move, and then you got to here in another move. The people nearby can like can hear the commotion outside. There's like a low window. They see this thing, and they're at the bars. Like, please, no, you have to help us, Vicar. Please. They know his I, name. These are other jade spines. Uh, not, some of these are just what? humans. 
No. Some of these are, oh, so they just know who we are? Yeah, you guys have been, like, you, you, there are other slaves in the camp. You've been transferred here with other slaves, and these are people like who got transferred. have parties every Friday night. I say, the uh... Vicar's probably given many, 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 you know, sermons of hope and, like, you know, rites of passage as people died. As they come to me, as they come to the bars and say, uh, and beg for help, I say, uh... Uh, he has the key. <laughs> the the uh, the flame that flickers in the shadows will surely come to life in the same wind that the smoke is cleared. I don't know what you mean. Just help me. <laughs> in That's my Ruby turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna follow. Um, and open the gates um as i go is that an action can um, you make it as far it's certainly not a standard action um it's probably like a quick action but yeah you could open these gates and then get inside this building as part of one turn yeah so i will um i guess should i tell them to all just come in here probably yeah, so I'll just tell the people uh, to follow. Why are you fools? Are these little ones kids? Oh my oh, god, yeah. they're so small. Oh so... no. The tokens are so small on the map. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just tell everyone to The kids are me. sniveling, tears and snot rolling down their face, but they know better than, than to cry. Uh, I let the kids play with Beetle. I'm not sure not they're right now. right now. <laughs> what? But read the room. It's a giant monster. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, an emotional support spectral cat. Yet yeah, later. Not in the moment of present danger. <laughs> uh, and then that's my turn. Alright, Oscar. Okay, Oscar's just gonna, uh, hoof it as fast as he can. Go, 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 go. You're letting them out. Please let us out. Please. Don't have the key. All right, Lucian. I'm still holding action. Okay, I'll, I'll put you action. Action. Kismer. You know, I do got a question before I get moving. Not the time, man. Read the, the room. What brand of snack you eating? Judging from the smell in your breath, I think I fed it to the old dog. Yeah, that's that's a jade spine, all right. Come on, waddle your way over there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lucian, you have a long, taut, definitely wrapped between some of the kids' legs rope, but it, it, it's the right length. Wait, I have the rope? Wait, who, did you, who, who else did you give the rope to, Grizz? I only gave the rope to Vicar, and he's gonna. Ah, I instructed him to tie it around here and then wrap, rappel down with everyone else. My bad. Never mind. Vicar has the rope. All right. Well, so you do have your turn? invisible chain. I do. <gasps> I'll do it. All right. Is it my turn? It is your turn. All right. I'll lock the invisible chain in here. And then I will run to this door mm -hmm. and lock the invisible chain on this side so it's like a tripwire for anyone who's trying to follow. And then I'll just kind of shed a tear later tonight that I lost a rope. As a reminder, you have a unbreakable <coughs> chain rope, you have a imp dwarven chain rope, you have a infinite length elven rope, and you have a invisible rope. It's not a chain. Oh, okay, so the, the, in the invisible rope is now yep. deployed and Vicar has the elven rope and I still have the dwarven one which is a chain beautiful beautiful now Max as leader of the group I'm going to need you to make a skill track to uh, not have been noticed during all this like a dex uh, yeah dex yeah Woo. that's Woo. bad Woo! And somewhere in there, 
I, you look back to see if you were noticed, and the and the slave taker is absolutely just like, the slaves are escaping, get them! And the commander looks around. By the great orca lord above, I can't. Th- what treachery is this, Inor? Uh, I make eye contact with uh one of the slaves or not oh, that doesn't feel right one of the people still in the in the cells uh in the room and i say uh the smoke my brothers has cleared honestly R- ruby should just throw the key through the ch- through the bar to them so that on their turn well, they can leave i did not realize that they were locked up um I, yeah. I they do look like a well. standard bar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have opened the door for them as well if I had the chance. All right. Yeah. She said she would have opened the door for them if she could. I don't think she would have had enough action to get all of them anyway. Could she throw them the key? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's now the Battleshade's turn. Um, the Battleshade? I don't even... The Blade Shade? The Blade Shade, yes, thank you. I don't even um, I don't even know what this thing is. Where is it? Um, it is like old pieces of armor that have been animated with the spirits of those who have been slayed. Um, it's carrying a oh rusty blade sword and is going to shamble forward... Uh, losing a piece of its own armor on the barricade as it just storms past it and then stab forward at the commander. Uh, is that invisible? What? The shade? The, bla- the no, blade shade? No, you can, you can clearly see it. Okay. I'm going to oh. dispute that here because I can't see it. Uh, I'm even I'm even highlighting it on the turn tracker. You can't see it? I don't I can't see a turn tracker. No. I see the no. shades. I see nothing. But I see I will reload. Else. I will refresh. Okay. Uh, Should be good. The commander pretty easily parries its blade. These these half alive creations shan't be take me down today. Another's gonna shamble forward and stab at the mind in the attic. Uh, one of the slaves. Who is going to fall dead. And then the oh, archers are going to just open up on the big boy. Big boy. Smexia this. Yeah. These guys are way worse than normal zombies. I think the shade is probably the slaughter pit shade is uh <clears throat> the main thing in Cordy. It's got like a it's got like a little bit of a grave mind feel, you know what I mean? Yeah. I that's what I thought of actually. Cordy also- walks stately towards the building and now to claim the item I came to fetch. Oh, you have got to be shitting me. Right. Uh, hey, how's it going? The jackal blinks in surprise at no less than like 20 people crammed into this building. <laughs> wow. Can I get you some in the drink? He, he, he considers for a moment and nods, yes. Then unsheaths his obsidian scimitar. Your blood will do. Oh, he's he's so cool. <laughs> oh, no, oh, goddamn. <laughs> um, Oscar, you are a hit with necrotic energy. Ah! Oh. Not Oscar. Not Oscar. Not Oscar. He's fine. However, even with on a miss, that is half damage for fourteen damage. As what? you see a flicker. What? A vision, um, the moment of death of one someone that you lost, another jade spine in the stone thief attack. Tell us about it. There was a cave in. 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there was a cave-in. Um, they were trapped behind in, in a small space, and... Um, and the other guy was injured, and they just... They weren't dug out by the uh, orcs who found the rest of the Jade Spine mine fast enough. And so he just basically got to sit there and, like, hold this fellow miner, much younger guy, um, as he as he bled out. Beautiful. It was horrible. Not his worst cave-in experience, but really up there. That's good. Alrighty, um... It is now the Orc Rager's turn. They are, you know, certainly not going to engage. They are corralling some of these uh, slaves back to other areas. As as are the slave takers. They are using their whips and forks to make sure. And these people definitely don't want to go towards the gate anyway. So, it's not hard to steer them in the direction they want. Um, it is now the Solder Pit Shade's turn. Um, and it is going to uh, attack at the V Commander. As it does, the several blades crash and break against the Commander. Dealing damage to itself. And forming up into another blade shade. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and the broken swords joining with armor coming out of the pit beneath it. And ambling together into a yet another mook on the, gr on the ground. Actually, they're not mooks. They're troops, even. Oh, boy. That's nasty. The archers are going to continue, are, are now focused firing on the commander. Archers are going again? Uh, oh, I guess they're in the initiative twice. Never mind, one second. Remove, remove, remove. Um, and it's now finally the commander's turn. He's going to smash huge chunks of armor out of the one in front of him, but is still holding form. And he's going to spit a bit of blood. A cursed necromancy. It is now yeah. his minion's turn, who is going to storm forward and swing a big ol' battle axe. Which is similarly going to take out a huge hunk, but not quite enough. And now the vicar's turn. Uh, and is, can Grizz go with him? Yeah. Okay. First, I am going to use my big formal action to bless some people. I think this is this is the best I can do. Um, that's a quick action. This there's one that targets other people, people that aren't me. Okay, I'm gonna cast for broad effect. Uh, choose up to three nearby creatures, and each target deals plus one d8 damage. This is a uh, a third level spell. I'll print it. Um, I'll take one charge for myself. Who are the melee fighters in this group? Oscar. Oscar. Oscar, I want you to get your revenge. Uh, go out in glory, old man. Uh, and then Kismer. Uh, I have seen you shed blood uh, for the priestess in passing, even if only in the briefest moments of fervor on the battlefield. Aye, aye, aye. It was always for the priestess, yeah. Uh, and then uh, you'll both take plus 1d8 with melee uh, for the rest of the fight. And I will charge through this door uh, 
So I'd like to clarify this... what you're saying. You're currently looking outside of uh, peepholes in the main wall. There's a staircase here that brings you up to the top. Oh, oh boy, here we go. And so and... they can't climb out of the peephole? That's only no. barely big enough for an arrow. Okay. Well, the, yeah, yeah, these are these are arrow slots. And I, I was going to ask, because it very much looks like an arrow slot. The question then is, do I did, did I get a sense of the size of the fortress when I was inside of the plaza? Do I know how many flights I would have to climb up? Uh, only one. Only one. But, like, it's a particularly I can't move tall. Chris, but he would lead you the way up. Well, the question then is, I'm on the bottom floor right now, mm -hmm. and I see a portcullis and what looks to be an iron wall somehow? Uh, yeah, what you're seeing is there's the outer part of the gate and the inner part of the gate. So this is the portcullis. What is this? Oh. Yeah, um... Because this, like, this looks like feasibly it could be the portcullis, dramatic. and this is just like an... Oh, is that raised right now? Uh, it's currently lowered. The um, the cordy came. And the port and the portcullis is raised. Uh, the portcullis, I yeah, it's it's open. Okay, and I see a door here towards that. Yep. There's a battle orc here. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna. I used my action here, but I'm going to to come over here. I'm gonna try and get us through that door. Okay. Uh, that battle or that cave orc definitely has been holding its action for anyone who enters. <laughs> I know he has. I kinda, know he has. Job, right? I uh, yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, it is currently in the dark. He is a nocturnal predator, so he gains a plus two attack bonus. Uh, and he is going to s charge at you. Actually, no. He just goes throw a rock. That's his best move. Oh my uh, god, 15 versus AC. AC. Uh, but That's a miss. Flick plinks off of your armor. Poor guy. Wait, he had armor? And you shall know no fear in the name oh, of the Oh, he doesn't have armor. When I say armor, I mean his rock hard ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Chris Ruby. is like barking at you. <laughs> it's then you realize that I, I, so I have no armor and all of this fur is just body hair. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> something really spicy. Um. Okay. Um. The are there like windows? These are these windows something that we can like shoot through? Yeah, if you break them. Um. Okay. Um. There is the guy in the room with you. I will note that. Oh. Yeah. Um. That is true. Um. Oh, I really don't want to get hit. <laughs> you said he was a spellcaster, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um. So I have this talent. Um. For the first attack against wow that is unreadable oh no there it is um my first attack against an enemy i'm gonna move over here okay. and make a uh, ranged attack um clearly lucian lent you one of his spare short bows yeah Ooh, close it whizzes past his head and breaks this window instead, nicking him on the way. He calmly, like, wipes away the trickle of blood. When do the peasants um... move? Uh, on Van's turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, also... Um, as a free action, I'm going to use my Lethal Hunter. Okay. Um, and uh, select um, this dude as my target. All right. All right, so your crit range is now... Uh... The last one was only for her first attack. Yeah. Wait. No. Run. Are we fighting? 
Oh, it's not Oscar's turn. <laughs> Yeah, we're fighting this dude that's in the Wait, room with us. Did you not use your move action? She did. I, she moved I, further I in towards the door by Lucian. <clears throat> He's just Christ. <laughs> it's now quite clogged there, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, I yell at Oscar, like, run! And I'm, like, gesturing with my hands, like, go, go, go. Okay. Oscar is going to make a very rude hand gesture towards Cordy, <laughs> and then and then book it out the door. Does he have enough movement to like run out, see this cave orc, and then and and the vicar like staring at each other, and then like charge up to the cave orc? Sure, that's a lot. Uh, but what you won't have a standard action that you'd have to give up. Like you can move Ooh. there, and you can be in mate in range uh, range. Uh, I mean, I guess that can't hurt, right? Okay. Sure, I will throw something at it. So how far can I get? Like, by the vicar? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I this cave orc immediately dies from fear. Two jade spines, no oh, backup. Boy. It's over. It's, it's got rocks. He's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna heave a, a rock little at it very badly. You pick back up its rock and throw it back at him, and <laughs> it just like plinks there. By he has his rock back. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, is that a? It's even. Yeah, I've gotta decide what one I have two. I have two options. Um, we're gonna start moving the NPCs nope. who are absolutely gonna follow. Are there arrows okay. here, and he's using a rock? This I'm, guy's... I'm... If he pulls on a bow, he's just gonna break it. Like, oh, yeah. cut him some slack. <laughs> also, I, unlike Lucia, I don't think most people have a bow at all, let alone arrows. But, I mean, it's right here. Yeah, it's right. that's what I was pointing at. Right there. Right there, so. How do I? How do Map I? Map tells out an abstraction. All right. Oh. <laughs> Always. That's what I. This that's guy what is I say cowering too. in the corner of his cell because he's not coming out uh, with the key. Um, it's been thrown to him, but he's not coming out with that guy right there. Look, all I have to say yeah. is I do find the idea very funny of them having like two full quivers of arrows, but not a single <laughs> bow for them. <laughs> That's how you're that's how gonna... arrow holes work, right? You just throw them out. Like darts. Oscar, um, you picked brace for it. Uh, the next... Oh, nice, nice. Alright, the NPCs have been moved. Kismer! I'm... Go. <sighs> oh, I'm going, laddie. I'm going. <laughs> God, you frickin' jade spines are stubborn as hell. Yeah, don't worry, we roll like shit. Hey, you they've been, it's a family treat! <laughs> the obsidian scimitar comes up to catch your... What do you attack with? Giant, it's just a big-ass shovel. Big that's been shovel. sharpened at the edges. <laughs> hi-ho, hi-ho. It's off to spill blood we go. And um, expanding that crit range. One who likes to fight up close. Good. Ah, uh, oh, hi. Let's see how well you do. Of okay, course, it's this, this guy. guy. Hold, this guy has a hold action, right? Is he running now that he's engaged? He'd have to come out right there. He's not doing that. Mm, he will unlock the door. He'll be ready. <laughs> that might be his only safety. <laughs> yeah, right now, the fact that this thing is that... He's I mean, locked I the door, but he's not going to run around the You said he's got the key. I'm like, corner. no, no, no. I'm, I'm keeping that key and staying far away from the door. I, That's what I'd do. I would bolt for... The, I would honestly bolt for it if I were that guy, because you know, that thing... I'm hearing a 50-50, all right? Definitely. A set of bars is so, not going to be enough to kill the, to stop that guy from killing me. He's cowering in fear. Yeah. Oh, God. 
the cave orc has regained his rock um, and is going to throw at the guy who seems a little less um, armor, you know, Maybe. tough. Uh, and what? pelt Oscar for Oscar. Eight damage. Eight damage. What Oscar? Is this guy, can he not see like an army of people rushing out that door? He's just fine. Uh, he's an idiot. <laughs> he is an idiot. He's a cave orc. <laughs> He's a book. He's an idiot. <laughs> Lucian is your turn. Slaves go back to cell. So it's my turn? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna shut this door. And I'm gonna... Can I... As my move action, can I slide this, like, over the door to, like, budget shut? Absolutely. There okay. are many other slaves out there that we forgot. Very many. Poor God. Oh, there are... Uh, yeah. There are at least one, two, three, four, five, six, Guys, seven, like 14. Let's not scope creep here, He's right? trying to, yeah, to weigh on Lucian's conscience. He's doing the best he can. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, that's my move action, and then I'll be like, God, Jade Spines, and I'll double ranged. As a reminder, you're shooting into engaged range. Ones mean you reroll against your ally. Yep. All right, it's a miss, but... Uh, I'm gonna use my double or like my once on an odd I could reroll. Nice. Man. That one actually hurts. Oh my god. Ugh. And I'll gesture for Ruby. Run. We got this. Get the others out. Did you make your second attack? Oh, you did. Okay. Alright, that's it. But I, I will tell Ruby, like, priority one, get people out. All right. Um, is there a drawing tool? There is. Uh, it is Where a pencil. Can I do and pencil, and then you can do free scribbles with the draw freehand scribble guy. Uh, it is now the blade shade's turn. Um, boy, oh boy, they're going to team up on this commander. Oh, I'm on the drawing tool. That's why I can't select them. But tool. Oh, oh boy. Wow, wow, wow. Um, and one of them is going to sink into the ground and disappear. The other is going to run over and smack the big boy. Yeah, he is. Woof. <laughs> Look at that go. 25 versus AC. I believe it's Cordy's turn next. The jackal's masked face betrays a smile underneath. Yes, Max. No, sorry. I'm just, I'm checking every. I'm just clicking around trying to find a draw. Go to the I pencil. I don't think I can see it. I, I don't have a pencil on that left hand side. Oh, did, have I? Yeah, you guys have never really. You guys haven't drawn in I so mean, it, long. It's a good. It's a good I idea. I have the ability to, have to draw. draw. <laughs> Yeah, I do too. What? You just you took it away from draw. Me. I just don't because I very rarely do I need to. Uh, that was probably a good idea. I can measure. Hold on, let me double check. It, it's not a big thing. I was just going to draw a square right here of, in front of the door. Literally, yeah. don't stop session for this. <laughs> I think you I'm might like have it now. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I guess I didn't mark you as a trusted player. Weird. <laughs> you are a trusted player. Anyway, the jackal's fa mass face betrays a smile. I do enjoy a challenge. As he attacks against... Oh. Um, good old Kismar. <clears throat> as the, the scimitar's... Um, 
spikes sink into Kismar, the blood drains back a bit, and Cordy heals back up a little. Mm. Didn't realize you had a taste for iron. All right. The orc raiders over here have man have secured this, and they and their slave taker, whose turn it is, are rushing in to uh, chase after these. Um, princess, don't pause the game. To chase after the people who have escaped. Uh, comedically, they trip over invisible rope, and <laughs> the slave taker like pokes around and like tries to find it and it's just like reach nothing reach nothing kick nothing uh, and then he finally finds it and like st steps over it g way over mm. over accounting for it <laughs> idiot can't even navigate with faith alone what a loser <laughs> uh, Cordy yes. will do a hand gesture and across over his shoulder, a giant attack, tendril attack, will come in towards Kidsmar. No, no. <laughs> this is going to be brutal. Oh. Well, is that all? Uh, and it's now the commander's turn, who is going to take the attack of opportunity, rush in, and tr try to slice off that tendril. Um, he succeeds, and the tendril just crashes down onto the ground, spewing daggers and bits and helmets and the shield bits. Um, but he is taking an attack of opportunity. You know, considering the blade shade's performance, I don't blame him. Case in point. Yeah. Um, GM is Cordia, um, undead or no? He is not. Okay. He's a jackal. All right. He, he com the commander looks over at the at the um uh, on at the slave. Um Kismer. Dwarf, do not think that this means I will let you leave. But your assistance here shall mean that you will only get 50 lashes for attempting oh, to escape. Only 50, huh? <laughs> I'm that feeling kind to today. Does that not kill a man? <laughs> <laughs> this one disappeared into the ground. He is going to uh, smack. Ooh, only half damage. He only takes an arm off. Blasted, accursed. Undead. That's the last word I was looking for. Vicar! You must lead these people to safety. Must I must lead these people to safety. I see visions. Uh, the priestess guides my path. Uh, Oscar, I have... I know that two blows, uh, if that was all that it took to take out this old man, he would not be standing here today. And so, uh, I, I fly forth. It is locked. It is locked. It is, uh, no longer locked because, um, <clears throat> you have a six, right? Yeah. Well, so here's the thing. Is this, is this fortress of originally of dwarven design bits of it are okay is this doorway originally of dwarven Absolutely. design this is a dwarven doorway okay uh i would like to roll to kick this door down with uh with warlore like dwarves have grown into a culture to kill other dwarves um, you know, like recently the Dwarf King, uh, his leadership has been sort of what unified the Dwarven clans. 
but before that, it was just dogs going for each other's throats over the richest mountains, and that's why we're called the Jade Spines. So kicking doors is in our blood. Are you using a six on this, or are you just rolling? I want to roll. You know what? I want to use the Dwarf King six. All right. All your previous explanation makes a lot of sense, and you kick oh, this. Sorry. That's all right. And you kick this door open, aiming, knowing how to put your weight and to bust open the, the latches, which are of unique design to dwarves. Uh, yep. And I come out, and this is it. This is uh, uh, why I am here. Uh, is it open passage? Like the doors open? It is open passage, baby. <sighs> There's a terrifying monster, not but 220 feet from you, but. Yeah, absolutely. There, There is, isn't there? Well, Gris will smell the, the fresh, with the door being kicked down, he'll smell like the air, the wind coming in, and he'll just, <laughs> instead of shepherding with the, I don't know, the herd or the front, he'll just make sure that nobody takes a wrong turn up the stairway with the guy who has the only rope. So he'll, like, bark at people and kind of shepherd them oh. that way. Never mind. I thought the big guy was uh, Simidexus was staggered. He is not. Okay. My bad. All right, okay, Ruby. Wait. Run, Ruby. Um. Get the people out of here. Does he's badly injured? No, just run. We got yeah, this. No. Oh. Shoot him in the head and then run. Shoot him in the head and then run. Yeah. yeah there is nothing stopping you from shooting like. Yeah. Shoot him, him in the head and run. running off. Kids just are short. Run. Stand on the table and shoot him in the head. Uh, Get on the table, shoot him in the head. Yeah. Aren't you glad you did that? Look at it. What? That misses? <laughs> My crit range is... Ex oh, wait, no, that's just the crit range, not the hit range. Wait, don't you get the... Oh. I thought you got extra damage. Like, he gave you extra damage, but that was just melee attacks. That's only melees. Yeah. And he, he didn't give it to me. I thought he gave it to, uh... Austin, <coughs> my car. No, I have shields, and I have... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go and beat the crap out of this thing is what I'm gonna do. Because I have a um... daily and action for this. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> I washed my hands of this. <laughs> as soon as I hit as soon as I hit it, honestly, as soon as I hit it, we all get a plus one to hit it too. You, so. you know you are three people in one. Okay. Yeah. Um yeah, I, I can't say anything else, so I'll, I'll shoot him and then run over here. Don't worry, did you unpause the game? Honestly yeah. that was the guy. Ruby Ruby, you are all I need to stop. Like, no, if you exit the door, and I can see, and like you're nearby, Oscar, go. I can, I can target you for spells. Well, I mean, uh, can I? Sorry, can I, I was muted. Out? Can I get out here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just like stand there. Why? There we Alan? go. Yeah. Can you not hear me? Yep. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. All right, Oscar is going to run up to this cave orc. Run up a bit. <laughs> we gotta cover He's... the cave orc from everyone else running past. He might throw rocks. <laughs> he might, he throw, might rocks. throw rocks. He might learn to pick up an arrow. Chris he might is even find a bow. Chris is just barking furiously, like you guys are like sheep that are like getting sidetracked by shiny things. <laughs> I'm gonna whack him. Uh, you're, in, in fact, going to stab oh through his heart, upward through Take his chest, and split his Wait. tusk in half. You don't oh even my. get your 1d8. You <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> he was adorable, and then he was gone. See? <laughs> totally worth his it to single take rock to will, go whack it. His single rock... Smooth from weeks and months of like worrying stone use drops out of his dead hand to the ground. Oscar, Oscar <laughs> didn't even need 
the 1d8 to kill it. That's how... 21. Okay. It's been swinging okay. a pickaxe for that years. Poor feller. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is like, a pickaxe pick one. Oh, that sucks. Uh, He's going to pick up the rock. All of the NPCs are moving. Except the one who's still cowering in his cell. Fair. Are these ones are moving, too? Kismer. I guess what I'm gonna do. Poor Jade Spines. Uh, 19 versus AC on Cordy. Yeah, that's a, that's a miss. A 24 missed, and I thought that would hit. For sure, I thought that 24 would hit. That was close. Alright, well, it's gonna. Just gonna increase my crit range again. Okay, okay. <laughs> what is it now? It's uh, 18. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. just, a few more attacks, and eventually I'm gonna be critting on a one. All right, Lucian. Okay, so I heard the the bustling behind the door, right? Yeah. And you still didn't move these guys. Oh, um. There's a lot of people. Okay. All right. My move action is I'm going to jump up on the table. Nice. Um, sorry. How do I target again? Why am I forgetting this? There we go. Uh, <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 You did exactly what I said to do when you crit. See, that's exactly what you need. The vicar knows. All right. De describe this crit for us, because this is an incredible shot. Um, Through, like, the collarbone neck area. I don't know. Just above his Mer's head. Okay. I don't. I don't know. That, that's all I got. I jump on a table. I shoot him. It's, it, the Cordy's body slumps to the ground in a spew of blood that um, goes over Kismer as he falls below zero health. I I will yell at Vans to run, and then my hold action because that wasn't even is so I'm standing up here. Mm -hmm. And my hold action is going to be to fire directly at anyone who opens up that door or manages to kind of, like, slump their way through the barricade. Is that... Can I do that? With the extra fire? I... I I'm I apologize. What's the second part you said? So, because it, it was an even, obviously. Yep. yep. My hold action is that second sh fire yeah. or second shot... Anyone oh, who opens up the yeah. store, I'm just aiming right there, ready to Absolutely. go. Absolutely. And I yell at this guy, the guy who's cowering in a cell, to just freaking run. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I will, I will, okay? He starts fumbling for the keys. The two battle shades that uh, had sunk into the ground pop out. One by Kismir and one by Lucian, literally coming out of the table underneath him. Oh... Shoot. Uh, how your held action was for people through the barricade? It was. And they get a bonus to this attack because they came out from the ground. So that's a uh, fourteen damage. Um, no, that's twelve because I think I already no. Wait. Wait. I already built into two damage to that. Okay. Um, and because Lucian crit it, the, the, the one by him gets to scream at him. I am loading in again, so I will take damage as soon as uh, I load You back haven't in. taken any damage. These guys are too low level for you. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm popping my Jade Spine 6 using my cultural. Uh, heritage, my pride in being a jade spine, 
in defending the front line so that every other Jade Spine can get out, I want to use this as a free recovery. Alright. No Accept it. Okay, okay. As Kismer's healing up, he hears from behind the slump body slowly come back up holding in just like organs spilling out. The great ghoul has not decreed it is my time yet. Alright. Well, oh, you that's garbage. not have enough of your blood either. You're overgrown mutt. Did you count the the health? Yes. Or like negative? Okay. Yep. For the crit. Uh, okay. I guess I guess this is gonna go a little differently than I thought. Um, it is a half-hearted swing though. Like the tendons are giving way, and Kismer it, takes no damage. <laughs> the orc ragers are going to try to beat down the um, thing, manage to get it open, and then Lucian's crit reaction is going to blow through both of their brains. Oh. Oh. The slave taker, however, is going to jam his head in and whip <clears throat> toward Lucian. Uh, it's not very effective, though, and it is a miss. Uh, it is now the slaughter pit shade's turn. Um, wow. Wait. Did this guy not move? It's not his turn. Yeah, oh here. my god. This poor. He has. Like. He can't tell me he hasn't held actions. <laughs> you know, you're right. He run. did held action running to run. He's over here. Okay. Commander Lasher is getting another beating from this guy. And as his output. He lost a tentacle, but, more, but two, three more grew out as he went. Um, and both are striking towards the lasher. Wow. Wow, some really poor hits. Rolls, though. No kidding. Um, is Commander sir? Somewhere in here, where did the archers go? How did they get removed from initiative? I guess they're just at the bottom of initiative. They had two, and then they had zero. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. yeah, we'll give them their initiative right now. Um, Owen is going to fire through engagement at Kismer. Negative energy. Yeah, wow. it like sucks your life out of you. And the other is going to fire at Big Boy, who hopefully is in. Yeah. Uh, speaking of like nope. weird damages, I've noticed that occasionally Thirteenth Age combines like damages, damage types. Uh, that one was kind of sinking him to the ground. <laughs> All right, now it's Commander Sir, who is going to like run up like the broken tentacle <clears throat> and strike at the head of this beast. Oh, oh it's gonna be twenty. <laughs> But boy, this thing just keeps going. Another swing of battle axe. Vicar, it's your turn. Uh, the Vicar knows war. I think he will uh, raise his, he will raise his hammer uh, and hammer of faith. So, that's a quick action because it's a third level spell. I will run in. And I'm just going to tag this thing. Um, and I think by default, everyone gets a plus one. Uh, gets a plus one to hit, right? Hit or miss, your allies gain a plus one attack bonus against the enemy until the start of my next turn. And then if I invoke it, I can increase the escalation die, which I will not do. So, melee Wait, attack. You could, because Cordy will die at Escalation 4. 
Ah, but I already cast my damage. Let's see. Um, These are not 12s. Buckaroo? Yeah. Hammer of Faith is a standard. No. At third level. Oh, you just marked it as level 1. That's an easy mistake to do. Yeah. Oh, so um, that's 4d12. Um, unless you think I should use... Well, that would, yeah, that would be two quick actions, right? Which is not a thing. So that's 31 damage, plus 1d8 for a total of uh, 37. All right, you smack this beast for 37 damage. Okay, that's my turn. Uh, and I'm singing uh, scripture, but you can't hear it because this thing's like shrieking and tearing apart people. It's like a blender. It's like trying to trying to talk over a blender. <laughs> All right, Ruby. Also, uh, Grisk went on his turn, and he ran out the door, and it's like, hold action is to, like, shoo all the mob out. Um, so the path out is clear, right? Yep. Yep, pretty much. But I don't have a rope to move people down the wall. Uh, the no, door you're no we have a door. We have a door. Oh, this is a door... This yeah. This floor here is like ground level? Yeah. Yep. He oh, improvised. Oh, okay. I, okay, got it, got it. I too, uh, I too was mind blown by the revelation. Got it. Okay, yeah. So, um, Ruby will, uh, just, uh, kind of lead everyone out over here with Grizz's help. If you would like to melee attack the creature in front of me, that is, uh, Plus one to hit. She is uh, just, she, no, ranged or melee or spell, what have you, right? Is this not like a wall? It's open Gates because raised. Cordy walked in. Oh right. Okay. Uh, I thought. Wait, did they did they raise direction. it? Yeah. Is this is it still raised? No, all the raised is good, right? The gates are open. The uh, draw yeah. gate is down. You can walk right out. Okay. Uh. Well, I mean, I I will want to make sure if I'm going to fire at this thing that all the people get out safely first. I mean. Oh. Okay. You can hold your action till they pass. Uh. Yeah. I'll do that. Um. I I also. Uh. Actually. Let me double check. I think it's... <clears throat> oh no, it's an enemy that hits me. Yeah, um, I, I guess I'll just... I mean, if that thing's dead, yeah, I guess I'll just shoot this thing. Um, and it is my first strike. So my oh, crit, uh, my crit is expanded. That, oh my god, Actually, so yes. close. That is a hit. That's a crit. That's a crit. You let That's loose awesome. an incredible volley of not D4 damage. Right. Yeah. Yeah, minus 14. Just arrow after <clears throat> arrow, you quit, fire off in quick succession. Oh, so sick. That. Right, That's 54, Oscar. right? Yeah. Oh. All right, Oscar. Okay. Um, I guess Oscar is going to head through the door. Um, is this as far as he can get, pretty much? Yeah, you can get by Ruby and such. You don't have to block up the doorway. Um, but probably can't. Range attack. 
Yeah, I think I can rain. I think that's my best bet here. Um. Seth Gray is yelling at you to leave. Yes. Um. <laughs> 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 Yes. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just do a ranged attack. Oh, nice. Nice. 21 more damage. And then, hang on. Bits of armor and broken weaponry are falling out of... Of, uh, off of this. Tentacles are going down. And then I'm also expanding my crit range. Nice, nice, Can I nice. Call that good? People are streaming out. You guys Kill also him. know that, like, the people fighting him once he's dead, will turn to us. Yeah, well. This right. is our distraction. Kismir. The thing, the thing's still only badly injured. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right. I think it's time. I just want to make sure that Kismir and Lucian can get out okay. Yeah. And it's looking less and less likely that you guys are going to make it out of the room itself. Uh, Lucian will make it. <laughs> oh boy, Kismir power made. attack. <clears throat> oh boy, that's a crit, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> 52? That's good shit. That Did you get your 1d8 in there? With the power nope. attack uh, being doubled as well, that is absolutely enough to put Cord in. <gasps> minus 150%. <laughs> Hey, is well and truly dead. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, also, it's odd, so I'm going to expand my crit range on him again. Yeah. Just, so... Just in case. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to roll this. And... Nope. All right. I am a Jade Spine. This be expected. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Lucian. Hang on, wait, can I use my quick action to close the door? Yeah. Alright, cool. I'm good. <sighs> so, I'm engaged. Congratulations. <laughs> no. Um... I thought you got married. Alright, I will take a, an attack of opportunity to do a double range attack on oh, wow, no. on this guy. How come the confetti didn't fire off? I'll do it. <laughs> as a miss, um, you fire, it just kind of bounces around and lodges in the ceiling. Uh, uh, yeah, that, you're, you have disengaged now, uh, but... Okay, um... Well, that was a war... I can't do anything else but run. Unless I just stand here and watch. So I'll run, and I will shoot this guy. How All far right. can I go? That's about as far as you okay. can go. Yeah, okay. dude. I know uh, that I did use cover of an opening as a joke, but can I actually use a different tactic? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. If... That that's it. Okay. It All applies. right. That's gonna I come. I will yell. Out. I will yell at everyone to run. All right. Well, definitely taking uh, ten damage. Ow. Steps into the room over the barricade. Oh, shit. 
All Open right, that door. Oh, dark yeah. and ugly. I see you got out of your cage again, Kismer. I, I was looking for my sword. <laughs> you know. No, no, once I found my sword, I'm going right back in. Don't worry about it. You know, you watched. <laughs> we both watched it melt into the bowels of the gizzard after I took it from you last. <laughs> you underestimate jade spine runes. Whip crack. Oh shit. Are you in the hit? The commander's <laughs> feeling generous, but fifty more la la lashes from me when this is done. <laughs> How generous. What can I say? The commander's in a good mood, and I like it when he's in a good mood. Slaughter Pit Shade is going to continue in his... is going to spread out his attacks, actually. One against the commander, and one against the vicar. Wow, he cannot <clears throat> roll at all. Um, and they are just small seven damage hits. Yep. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Imagine if they weren't. Having recently done a lot of damage, the archer is going to turn its attention and fire an arrow, a rain of arrows at the vicar. <clears throat> uh, Ooh. As the other one emerges from underneath, from the ground on top of the stone nearby, to fire another volley at the vicar as well. This one I forgot to add the plus two damage. For me. That's a, that's okay. That's ten damage. Both times. No, the second time. Okay. Uh, so I'm not gonna play these games. Uh, 20... I th I'm at 29. Anyways, as soon as I get hit by that, uh, you know, it's sort of like back-to-back -back assault on that. I sort of roar out, uh, 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 House Jade Spine will see your corpse as a trophy. That's my best shot. Nice, nice. Um, now, unless you already spent your six... I think one of your jade spines they're attached to is going to into this recovery. Wow. Yeah, yeah it doesn't just say... grabs the nearest jade spine, pops him open like a Capri Sun. I think, yeah, I think that I do have sort of like, uh, you know, each of us has like two minions, right? That sort of are tagging yeah. along, right? I think as we're all sort of beat on by this rain, I see that one of them sort of like staggers and falls, and that's what sort of fuels my raid. Yeah. Yeah. The commander looks at his second in command. Semexus. Handle them. I'll handle this abomination. Just. Yeah. This was the distraction. We should have just left. Oh. I'm not. We gotta the commander get disappears like into the maw of this beast, screaming <laughs> a battle cry. Godspeed, commander. Godspeed. Oh god, my chest hurts. <laughs> Ash. Ash? Okay. No, Semid as this the happens, Semedix rushes past the vicar and starts barreling down. Ah, oh, cursed dwarves! I hate ye even more than I hate this blasted Do piece. I get an attack of opportunity Absolutely. on him? Absolutely. He's just charging. <laughs> oh. This is... I'm going to kneecap him. How dare he approach my kin? That was a 20. Oh my god. Now hold on a second. That's a crit with uh, four d12s plus one. Is it one d8 or two d8? It's one d8. Okay. Well, it's. Yeah, I'm asking because it's a crit. Well, I guess technically that would be two d8. Then. You can take out the. You can decide what to do with that. His body and axe crash into Ruby for thirty. What? <laughs> 
30 damage as he falls over unconscious after taking that much damage in one go. He is... His, his giant hefty body is just like pinning Ruby down. He is current, like, he's not dead. He's just unconscious. Which I don't that's know not yeah yeah no that's how we do things around here first Nicker. of all let's wrap uh, this up let's end the session yep i so i didn't get a chance to do this earlier because nobody was staggered can i can i judgment uh yeah okay can i auto hit with a jade spine five you want the complication you're proposing um half health all right yeah sure i want this sort of to be a cleansing flame you know it blows out the door i Make want it, it mostly happen, to sir i mostly want to hit the door so that it actually opens up and kismet can run out battle shade kaboom battle shade kaboom the um giant creature kaboom Boom, big chunks out of it. Inside of it, the commander blows up a bit. Uh, this guy, Semexist, is actually now just dead. He actually just exploded in, in, like from this, on, and there's a pile of gore on top of Ruby. You know, that 26 versus MD might have actually hit without me spending anything. Now take half health. That's, oof. Are you running now? Ruby, you're covered in a pot and a dead yes. body and pile of gore. What do you do? Can I can I disengage with my movement or would you I die? Oh yeah, never mind. Or okay. take the attacker opportunity. Uh, this thing hasn't hit once in the last like three turns, so I mean Okay, I'm not moving anywhere. That would have been an action anyway, sorry. That's illegal. Ignore that. Weren't you already engaged? I was, but it, I the, the spell's an action too, so that's bad. But disengaging is a enough. movement action. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Right. Um, may I use a six with the dwarf king to recover? Yes. Cool. I have heals. I'm sorry. Use a free recovery. Okay, I don't, I just, I don't want to kill anyone. The vicar's magic kills you, and that's why it's not killing anyone. Okay, continue. Um, <laughs> I just want to run. Get, grab everybody and run. Go, go, go. You're out of the combat. Uh, and all the people come with me. Uh, they will in shortly. Oscar. <clears throat> Kismer, I'm counting on you. Oh. Sorry, I forgot that uh, Oscar was me this session. That's okay. Um, let's see. I think... See, like, I want to help the vicar, but mostly I want to leave. Leave. <laughs> Absolutely. Leave. Alright, Oscar's leaving. MP3 Oscar did not get to be that age. Whoop. Whoop. He's really booking. He knows that that Lucian's gonna have his ass if he doesn't book it. <sighs> oh, Kismer, it looks more and more like it's you and me, bud. Alright, Kismer. <laughs> Where are the tax? So, here's what I'm gonna do. I opened the door. Okay. It's already open. <laughs> it was not already open. Yeah, I closed it. I closed I thought, it so the I archer thought, couldn't just go. I thought the vicar opened it with his thing. I don't know Different. why he wanted that specifically, but if he's sure. <laughs> and Boy, cleansing flame. Doesn't care about doors. Can I just kind of like shuffle in a like a half circle around this to reach the pit shade? Yes. 
Go. Thanks. Yo, what up? Yeah, what up? Oh, baby, do not disappoint. Look at, look at that. Look and at that! 1d8, 1d8, 1d8. Crit! Oh, nice. Crit. Ooh, that thing is dead. Who else is the d8? There you go. Kill it, kill it! Kill it! Almost. It is not looking good. <laughs> the ground is starting to waver and return back to normal as the magic subsides. Lucian? Alright. I will run over here and I'll shout at them that uh, it doesn't matter. The great goal gets the power, dead or alive. Run. Now you're going to shoot wouldn't. Them? You're just going to yell at us? You're just going to yeah. be the world's worst. He wouldn't man. understand. There's also he wouldn't an understand. here and here um, that you could Let's... fire at if you want to try to clear their way. Oh, that's a double melee. Can you delete that? Yeah. I'll take the one, though. Okay. <laughs> there you go. The slaughter pit shade falls apart, and out from its crumbling entrails come there is Commander Lasher, still standing, roaring in defiance at having escaped death it. <laughs> once again. I did it. <laughs> he is uh. like some of his body's melting away from acid. He is covered in blood, not all his own. I, I tell Grizz, round him up, and I'll meet you. Since we're at end of session, I want to cast spirits on the righteous on him just to like blow him up, and then we get AC bonuses to run out with. Just a what? We get AC bonuses to. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be Kismer. He and I get uh, uh, AC bonuses until, and we can just run out. We can just leave. Because nobody's going to be able to hit us. I have like 23 AC. Okay, okay. Um, you know, it is. I'm not going to make this this two session thing. There is an like there's a slave taker after you. There's this commander. There's some archers, but I really we are already late. We're already over. Each of you roll a one d four. Those who have stayed behind, and on a one, you lose a recovery on the way out. <laughs> All right, you both. Get out and are hound you're hounded by the commander and some of his troops for a while, but they have to end up falling back and dealing with the archers pestering them. Um, their fort stands. They have kept about half the slaves, and you guys have gotten out with all but one of the jade spines you knew were here. Who else was here? Um, feel everyone who kept jade spines feel free to give me the two names of uh the jade spines and who they are um of course uh you know seb you only have one uh you know good old harold uh, <clears throat> i could have left this mission with a hundred percent success rate <laughs> all right rumham what's something you liked what's something or someone you want to see again uh, I liked that you tied in the jackal. Um, it's nice to see some tie-ins to things that aren't the stone thief. Uh, I haven't seen that in a while. Um, so I liked that. I liked the cool token. That was a cool little wiggly token. Wiggly boy. Uh, and my, my two <laughs> jade spines are Amethyst and Garnet. All right. Wow. Wow. Alan? Uh, I also, I liked, I think my favorite part was when we were all sitting there arguing with Lucian about the plan, and he's just sitting there like, oh my god, why am I even here? <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite moment. Um, but I also enjoyed the combat. I liked, I liked that there were so many different routes that we could have navigated through and different challenges based on the different routes. I thought that was like a lot of these sorts of escape the castle things end up being sort of single path. Mm -hmm. 
I knit, so it was nice to have so many options. And my jade spines are... Oh, God, I don't know. Um, Kiki and Larry. All right, make sure to write that down somewhere. Um, oh, absolutely Kyle. not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. I, uh, I enjoyed life. <laughs> no. Uh, Lucian actually had a plan for once in his life. He actually followed through with it for the most part. Commander to boss him around. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Do I shoot at a Gorgon? Uh-huh. Uh, I will say, the Jackal. I liked the gimmick. That was a fun little addition to the fight. And... The ones that lived... The Jade Spines that lived, we've got uh, Harold Humphrey and uh, Haruba. Alright. Uh, Max? Actually, doesn't Dame owe us one? Doesn't she have three recoveries? Oh, you're right. I do. I do have three recoveries. Uh, how could I forget? Um, I hate coming up with names on the spot. Um, my third guy is... Geronimus. Uh, no. No, uh, Marty. Wow, a lot of M names. No, no, sorry, never, never mind. A lot of H names. Um, Sad, take us home. Uh, Barton Jade Spine. Okay. And, uh, yeah, good session, good map. Um, boy, boy, oh boy. See, the thing is, I, I love these sort of ideas, but it's so hard to actually get that sort of... <sighs> okay, let me reform this. It's... I always feel like whenever you have a multiple path scenario, the party always takes the path of least resistance, which inevitably comes up makes the gm come up with a bunch of bs reasons why the enemies are suddenly coming to this virtually unguarded path mm -hmm. but Not the uh, but this session felt fairly natural in that reasoning and so i don't hate it um i like the way that the party sort of fell together for this i like the way that the dwarves interacted i like the way that lucian interacted with the dwarves um making some pretty hard assumptions about the jade spines wow but following the smell of ale. Um, you literally and I think met I, the dame in a bar. <laughs> <That's not laughs> I, I think um, I found my new favorite class in 13th Age. The, yeah. uh, the cleric is OP. And next opportunity I get, next campaign, I'm or whatever, I'm going to definitely play this because this Claire is nuts it is fun um I'll, once again i'd like to thank i'd like to appreciate that i can give you guys one week to come up with brand new characters and who they are and motivations and it largely came together and you guys learned new classes and played it and we got through combat and we we're only a titch late that's awesome good job guys um next session you guys will all be back at the Jade Spine Manor for the first but time. Will we be playing our characters? And you will all be playing your main characters. Lucian. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move, move. Go, I'm gonna go to the world map. And I'm gonna move all of you guys back together. Wait, I need a card for Raza. I need a Raza card. I will update that. As part of next we need, prep, if I can. Buff Raza is now canon, yeah. by the way. <laughs> all right. Well, I will see you all next week, um, which will likely be just a, like, catching back up with the base and, you know, all your NPCs back there doing some faction building um, and some role play. Oh, nice. All I oh, know is yeah. Dame is going to owe Lucian some invisible rope. <laughs>